Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Today we're going to be reading the Snow Elf and the Variation Lens. Uh, uh, forgot the book series name. <laughs> Ancient Tales of the Dwemer, Part 8, by Maroba Salt. Yeah, it is Part 8. So, interesting thing to note here that, uh, much like how there is no part four. No, sorry, there is a part four. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, no, part, yeah, there is, okay. Uh, up until now, there have been no missing parts. But there is no part seven. Right, and then after this, there's part ten and part eleven. And that's it. It's unclear if there were supposed to be more than eleven parts. Doesn't say that, does it? Does it say that? Uh, nine volumes it says... Seven and nine are missing. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So, there's two, there's two books that just don't exist. Maybe they'll come in uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Maybe. Who knows. For now, though, we're going to read... The Snow Elf and the Variation Lens. Let us begin. Oh God, how to pronounce, how to pronounce names. I love it. <sighs> Miss Claude, the tonal architect, had spent 20 years attuning the great animus geode he'd found in Inner Duthrand, trying to synchronize it with the possession of the dual equinoxes in order to capture cap God damn it in order to capture the Nurmpith experience. Jeez, these words. The geode's vibrancy affinities continued to elude him, however. So one day he threw down his attuninators, left his workshop, and went to the kitchens for an infusion of chale. As he approached the kitchen portal, he heard sublient music that cut off abruptly as he stepped over the threshold. His house assistant, a snow elf maiden named Lurio, withdrew her hands from behind the steam grill and looked up guiltily. Hmm. I heard music, Lario, Ms. Cold said. What did you just put behind the calefactor? It's nothing, sir, dwarf, the maiden replied. Just something I cobbled together to pass the time. What? Have you been in my device closet again? Show me what you have there. Reluctantly, the snow elf reached behind the steam grill and drew out a fist-sized object of gold and metal. Crystal knobs glittered, glinted, glinted, on its flange hood. Mescold held out his hand open, and Lirio carefully placed the object in it. Don't drop it, she said. It'll get detuned. Well, well, said the en engineer. So you've built yourself a crude tonal variation lens. Is this what I was... Is this what was playing the music I heard? Yes, sir, dwarf, the maiden said, gazing at the floor. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. What? With this device? There's nothing dangerous in a melodic repeater bau bauble, so long as it doesn't leak bussin waves from its volumizer. Can't have that. Might interfere with the static condensers. Oh, don't worry. I used arachnoid shielding. Not very much, she said anxious. But it's not a melodic repeater, sir. It harmonizes with any... with my metal melodies. Mental melodies. Nonsense! Moscone scoffed. No one knows how to synchronize a variation lens with mental concept cycles. It's never been done. I wouldn't know anything about that, Sir Dwarf, Lirial said, wringing her hands nervously. I just flitched, flipped the dumb emitter so it cancelled the demi- Ectar waves, and it worked just fine. Can I have it back now? Hold on, our drums, 
the engineer said, raising his hand, while he looked more closely at the dreaming device. Flipping the drum emitter cancels the demiakas? Yes. Yes, I can see how that might work. This may just be the thing I need to attune my animus geode in the nymphonix essence. As Mukthong turned in excitement to take the variation lens back to his workshop, the elf maiden picked up a flipper strut with both hands and struck him across the back of the head. Hmm. The tonal architect fell dead to the ground as Lurio picked up her shiny device. Never liked him, she hissed to herself. Always smelled like Dwemer oil. Then she opened the brazen louvers of a vent tube, crawled in and began lowering herself down through the inwards of the dwarven city. Guess I'm going to join the... Guess I'm going down to join the Undermer and not coming back. And with that, she turned on her variation lens, which immediately began harmonizing with her mental melodies. What on earth is that supposed to be about? Is that relevant to the, the game, the Elder Scrolls Online? There's no, um... There's no hot links or anything. Is that supposed to be a M. Night Shyamalan twist? Because I don't get it. Alright, well that was Snow Elf Variation Lens. Ancient Tales of the Dwemer, Part 8. By Maroba Sul. Alright, uh, but uh, next time we'll uh, read the diary. Part 10 down there. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.